everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another episode of Sophie and I's. Well, it's just really mine because I think she might be filming her own video. I don't actually know, but she mentioned something about wanting, wishing she would have filmed the vlog in the first part. Okay, we went off track. All right. Anyway, so it is the 25th of uh, April. Is the 25th? I thought it was the 24th. Can win. It's the 25th of April, and it's currently 9 o'clock on the dot. Sophie and I are supposed to have a phone call tonight to write uh, our next Zoe chapter. I'm calling her by her nickname out loud. It's not sound correct. But we're supposed to write her next chapter today, so I'm just about to text her and say I'm ready, and we'll see when she's ready. It's so hot in my room, and like... I'm dying. Like, I'm hot. Uh, even though I've had this fan going all day and I've had my bedroom door open all day, it's still really, really hot in this room and I hate it. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I did school today. That was fun. Took a test. Did good on that. And then I've also just been reading this awesome, Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. Uh, you want to know who it's by, I'll tell you right now. If you like Miraculous Ladybug, definitely go and read this because it's so cute and like the Adrianette moments are just so good and I just, I just, I want a boyfriend like Adrian in this because he's so sweet. If it just cut off weird, it's because I went on a rant about Miraculous and I'm not gonna do that. Not this early in the vlog at least. I'm gonna text Sophie and uh, we're gonna write. I have a lot of energy tonight, so let's see how long it lasts. Cause I think I had a lot of energy the last time we had a phone call. Um, and then we started writing and I was like, dude, I don't know what happened, but all of my energy just disappeared. And so did all of my writing skill. I don't know what happened to it, but it all went bye-bye, all down the drain. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Hello, my love. Hello, oh my god. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. How about you? It's going, it's going. <laughs> it's definitely going. All right, let's hope everything goes according to plan. So, Sophie, it's 11.51 uh, here, and we just, Sophie and I got off the phone. I'm very, I'm in a very good mood. How am I going to sleep tonight? Don't know. But I got a calendar out because Sophie and I have deadlines. And I mean, like, deadline deadlines. Not, like, a chapter a week deadlines, but a chapter every three day deadlines because we're going to have a party, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we're going to have a fun party on her channel, and we're going to bake cakes, and we're going to finish the story live. It's just, it's going to be so much fun. Hopefully, it can happen. But, word count for the day, 180, baby. I know, we wrote a poem, and it was a pain, and the bahome, all right? I regret that joke as much as you do watching. Uh, but yeah, so we only wrote 180 words, not a lot, but we did get a lot of work done. We also like brainstormed some stuff for the sequels and stuff like that. Uh, so we did get a lot of work done, even though it took us like, oh, we, took, we spent like two and a half hours on the phone together, and we only did an hour of work. The last hour was spent working on our deadlines and planning parties and just having a blast and just talking and just... <sighs> being great because Sophie is great uh and you ready I love her okay <laughs> uh but I have to go get ready for bed now because I have school tomorrow she's got school tomorrow but she says she's gonna try and write her chapter tomorrow and <sighs> we could crash and burn but I don't think we're going to uh hopefully we're not going to we could crash and burn but I have faith in us because now we have something to look forward to. It's not just like the pride of finishing a draft. No, no, no. It's more than that now. It's the pride of having a party while you finish your draft and getting cake. We're hopefully going to make cakes together. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. So I'll see you guys when I get my chapter back. Dude, this might become a very, very, very fast and very quick vlog because... Hopefully we'll be pushing the stuff out. It's not just going to be an Act 3 vlog that I'm going to separate. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. We'll figure it out. But cake. That's what I'm going to bed tonight thinking about. The fact that I get to make cake. And it's been a long time coming. Hi. So, it is the 27th of April. I have filmed this clip many times. I tried to film it earlier today. But... <laughs> I just couldn't work. I tried to film it before I read my comments that Sophie commented on my chapter, and then I tried to film it 
after and during, but it just didn't work out anyway. Uh, so we're just gonna film it now. It's cold outside, okay? I have a hood on because it's cold. Mm hmm. Donut. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, and if you think I look ridiculous, well, then just put your, your hand over the screen and you won't have to look at me. Anyway, so basically, yeah, I got the comments back. She commented on my chapter. Uh, she really liked a lot that I wrote, and I don't know. It feels weird to talk about that she liked so much of it. She kept commenting, like, how many lines she liked. She said the opening of the chapter was, I repeat, fire so thank you Sophie um and yeah she just commented on a lot she liked on the kiss scene she really liked how I led into that and she said that it fits the character so well which I greatly appreciate uh she also said that she, she literally said this would be perfect if we remember to display the grief better so like she just like praised me so much while in this chapter and I don't know what to say about it because like I appreciate it Sophie and <laughs> I don't want to make it weird so I don't really know what else to say um but yeah so now I get to read her chapter and she actually texted me when she she actually gave it back to me today and we had a death she didn't have to give it back to me till tomorrow so she gave it back to me today and she said that she doesn't like the fight scene she said she couldn't write fight scenes and now she wrote the fight scene and she says she doesn't like it so I'm going to read it and see what I think I like to read fight scenes I like fight scenes I want to learn to fight I think that'd be fun um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna read it. I know I already see a comment that says we need to th change this guy's name, and I agree. It's not a very threatening name, and it feels weird, so I agree. I think we definitely need to change his name. Uh, it's not a super long chapter, so I'm just gonna hop into it, and I'm gonna read it, and I'll get back when we're done. So, like... <laughs> It's like describing light bouncing off of something and it's a blade, right? You can infer that because we're in a fight scene. And when I, when I read that the colleagues were advancing and he saw more glint, uh, that's not exactly what it says, but when he saw more glint, the first thing that came to my mind was stab him. And we don't want him to be stabbed, but that's what came to my mind. I was like, yes, stab him. Boom, boom. Okay, so I just finished reading her chapter, and I did find some things I liked about it. Some of the description was really good. But I do have to say, it was a little confusing telling what was going on some of the times. Like, I just got a little bit confused while reading, so I'm going to tell her that. Um, and yeah, technically this is the end of Act 2, and we're on to Act 3, so I have no idea when I'm going to end this vlog, so we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, I liked Sophie's chapter, um, though, like I said, it was just a little bit confusing to read, so yeah, I'm going to write Chapter 16, which I don't know what in the world I'm going to, what I have to write for it, what I'm going to write for it. So I'm going to read our little outline and then I'm going to give in my all. Uh, Sophie's last comment on her chapter was just that, this pro she said, wow, this chapter properly sucks. And I, I don't think it does. I told you I can't write fight scenes, LMAO. I'll fix it later. Now that I have an idea of what's happening, but that was rough. I'm so sorry. It wasn't that bad, Sophie. It wasn't that bad. Uh... It's just a little confusing, but it wasn't that bad. Ugh, way better than chapter four. You and I can both agree with that. So, yeah. But I'm gonna write my chapter now. And besides, now that like we're like on crunch time, I don't think anything we're gonna put out is gonna be nearly good enough. So do not worry about it, Sophie. Don't worry about it at all. I I'm just over here writing Sinclair's grief. And for the first time, the entire book. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's hilarious how the entire book, Sinclair didn't even think of his dead parents. And then all of a sudden, he's like, dude, my parents are dead. And he's just crying about it. Like, yeah, we get it, Sinclair. It seems to just have hit you, doesn't it? I don't know. I find it hilarious that he just... I don't know. I think it's funny, and... <sighs> mm hmm Yep. I don't really know what to put in this chapter, because this chapter is just, like, 
build up to the end, to the last chapter. That's all this is. And I don't really know what to put in it. I mean, I can only stuff it full of so much grief before it gets repetitive. You know what I mean? So I really have no idea what's going to be in this chapter because it's just filler of being inside Sinclair's brain. So, I don't know. I like to think that I just painted this beautiful picture of a dark castle after the murder of a king and queen. Um, but, like, it just hit me that they would appoint a brand new king and queen after the death of the previous one because a kingdom, a kingdom or a country or anything can't run without a leader. So, this beautiful, I say, in quotation marks, image I just painted doesn't even work. I don't know what to put in this cabinet. Go with it, Sophie. Just roll with it. We'll figure it out in the next draft. You, your fight scene wasn't the best? You, well, this chapter in general has no plot. So, how do I get from point A to Z? Because I have no idea. World building throughout the book? No. We only know world building while running through it. I mean, I think I figured out how to fix the little royalty re leadership plot hole that I just created. I think I figured out how to fix it. It doesn't really make sense because there would still be a reader. I mean, a leader. Oh my god. I'm tired. There would still be a leader in this situation, but that's... We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I've nearly finished chapter. I just have a couple more sentences left, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, and yeah, I'm back in the groove. Because Intus, 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 in, Intus, I don't know. He's back in the story, and I like him, apparently. I don't know, but, like, he's easy to write. So I'm like, woo, -woo. <laughs> So, boom, one lovely, debatable, guilt-filled chapter. Sending going back to you, so if you gave it to me this morning, look at that turnaround. <laughs> I got cake now. There's an incentive to finishing this draft, and it is cake. There is a reason now, baby, and I'm not going to let that cake go. Uh, but let's see. This chapter is 15,000, 1,500, not 15,000, okay. Uh, yeah, that'd be too much. But 1,528 words. Uh, we are at 25K, nearly 26K, so whoop whoop, hit the 25, whoop whoop! Uh, I don't know why I'm doing whoop whoop. Every time I say that, it reminds me of uh, Iron Man going, what? What's it, what does he say? You're like... Oh, I don't know. It's in Silver War, isn't it? I don't know, actually. Like, what, Jumbaroo? No. That's not it. But that's what it reminds me of. Um, anyway, so yeah, 1,528 words. That's really good, considering the fact that I had 500 words, and I was like, dang, I'm getting near the end of this chapter. Guess I wasn't. Um, I don't really know how I feel about the ending, to be perfectly honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know. I just feel like it's... It just says, well, it just ends with parents, and I just, I don't think that's a very good ending, but, like, Sophie, Sophie, you're on your last chapter, and then you're going to send it back to me, and I'll be on my last chapter, like, we really get in some lead way when it comes to deadlines. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send this back to Sophie, tell her it's done and it's for her and I hope she likes it. I got to write fun friendship moments between Sinclair and Intius and I, I love it. Uh, and it's a good bond and it's not like romantic friendship in any way because I feel like, you know... It might, it's just, I don't think it'll come off like that. I don't actually know. But it's just a cute friendship. And I love it. Oh, stop. Somebody put me out of my misery. What's happening to me? Okay, so yeah. I'm going to text Sophie. Be like, guess what, Sophie? <laughs> Take it back. Take it back right now. Mm. But then when I get it back, it'll be my turn. It'll be my turn guys. It'll be my turn to write, you know? But I think I'm going to end this vlog here. 
Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I want to dedicate a whole other vlog to the last part of the book, to Act 3, and this is Act 3. I just finished the first chapter of Act 3, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big, fat thumbs up, and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday, relatively, and, yeah, I'll see you guys all next week for another video. Next time I have a video to post, actually. So, yeah, I'll see y'all then. I love you. And don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone. Subscribe to Sophie in the description box. Okay, bye-bye.